everybody, so for those of you who haven't seen my other videos, I'm back home now. I was spending the weekend with my dad, and because my mom was in the hospital, she's doing fine now, but in the, my spoiler review of Wish, I was a bit kind of tired because I had a big day, I was out and about, and I was feeling really tired, so... I was going to comic book stores, and I think I remember I was going out into different stores, so I felt really tired, and forgive me if my, if I had some brain fog, or brain fog, or I feel really fatigued, so hope you, you can still enjoy this video. It was when I was, I came home Sunday, and I recorded my video Saturday, but I was so tired that, that I, that I am finishing it today as I do it, so hopefully you can still enjoy it, and and here's my spoiler review for Wish. Hi, I'm Ben, and this is my spoiler review for Wish. Okay, so I actually do really like this. No spoiler alert. Magnifico. Okay, so Magnifico is like this evil wizard like originally he just was being nice and wanted to grant people's wishes and asha asha has this grandpa who wants to have his wish come true and his and get this his birthday is that he's turning a hundred years old get it he's turning a hundred years old so he wants to his wish is that he wants to grant music and will play music and hell and play around but the villain magnifico voiced by Chris Pine, of all people, who wants to try, who is revealed to be evil later, and he's like, like, all that I did for them, what good was it, like, and now he wants to use his wishes to try to take over and be in his own way, and I'm like, oh no, but he goes down a secret laboratory, which he uses an evil book of dark power and he opens it and he uses people's wish to take over people's power and i kind of wish he turned eve like an evil monster like remember in snow white in the seven dwarfs where the evil queen turns into that evil old woman like okay he doesn't need to turn into like an evil old but like something scary like maleficent or something but but they, I thought they were going to build him up, but he would have been something. And Asha makes a wish, and the star Lumily comes out, and... Well, I keep wanting to call it Lumily, sorry, but it's called Star. But Star tries to dance around, and there's a lot of Disney references, like Country Bears and Bambi. And Asha, the main girl, has a pet, dog, pet goat named Valentino, voiced by... Alan Tudyk, and he, I know him from, like, Wash, from Firefly, and other funny voices, and it's funny, he does, he does a very funny code voice, and I, I, and I really love that, and there's a funny part where the star brings all these chickens up from dancing, and the friends find out, and it's really funny how they did that, and Alan Tudyk, it does a really good job voicing Valentino, like, I really like how he presents it, and is a really funny character. But yeah, Magnifico. So Magnifico's hu uh, wife named Anya, who's the queen, and she loves him, but she doesn't love how evil he she does. And there's a cool song where all of them are singing together and realizing how evil he's being. So Magnifico had to stop, but then there's, but they try to defeat it with the with the star power and them singing and. Also, there's an actor in this name, Ethan Peters, and I know him from, like, Quicksilver from the X-Men movies, and he voiced a character named Simon, and he, there's a scene where he betrays him and tries to, gets a wish, and he becomes a knight, but he kind of turns evil, but he's like, I'm really sorry, and I'm glad they fixed that. But then, yeah, Magnifico, there's a scene where he tries to take over using people's wishes, but then he, they're like, no, you're evil, and then he goes into this crystal thing, like, because they all seen a son, and they're like, and it was a really beautiful son, and then they defeated him, and yeah, there's like an image of Mirror Mirror, like from the, 
from Snow White, the mirror mirror on the wall, like, so is Magnificent revealed to be the mirror from Snow White and Seven Dwarfs? Like, is this like a prequel to that? And another thing, they they use the fairy godmother's wand, and then they made it from a stick from the star power, but then he tries to use it to create stuff, and, it, and it's reference to, like, Sleeping Beauty, where, like, the make it blue, make it red, the dress, and the vegetables, the apple came to life, and... But yeah, after they saved the day, they asked her to be their fairy godmother. So is Un, Un yeah, supposed to be a prequel? Like, is is she secretly the fairy godmother from from S S Cinderella? Like, how does that make any sense? Like, uh, like Anya is great, but she doesn't look that much like the like the fairy godmother from Cinderella. Like. Like, uh, and I don't want to bring race into this, but, you know, like, they're, they look like completely different people, how they're pronounced. Like, maybe she, Anya was like a mentor to the original fairy godmother, or maybe there are their own fairy godmothers t separate, but, well, I don't know if we'll find out in the future, but it probably might go, maybe those answers don't ever get n cleared. But with that said, I still really liked it. I guess there is some problems. I guess the villain, like they, he built, like they advertise he's gonna be a villain, but then they advertise he, but then in the opening he's like, no, I'm not gonna grant your wish because it looks evil. But then it's revealed he's evil, and he's like, but his motivation, I don't know. He, I guess the problem is he tries to. He's like, no, everyone questions my. My wishes, and I'm trying to help people, but then it ends up being not right. And then he. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm really tired, and I have kind of a headache. So, anyways, the main. I don't know how to feel about the main villain's motivation. Like, he turns good, like, he starts out good, but then. He doesn't grant Aisha's wish because she th he she he lies and thinks it's evil, but she's like no. But then he's like everyone questions me. I'm gonna turn bad because all I did for them and what good was it? And I'm gonna take over and do and have ultimate power and be evil and yeah, but. I can I kind of thought he might turn him good because he started out good and he wanted to help people, but then he's like, "Yeah, I'm evil now." Well, I don't know how I feel about that, but overall, I I still really enjoyed the movie. It I guess it isn't perfect, but but the animation's really pretty. I like how they did that, and the characters seemed all right. Well, that's my review for my spoiler review for. Disney's Wish. I hope you all enjoyed it and see you next time.